Oh, hey! It's 1987-93-23, and my New Year's resolution in February is getting a career change. Yeah, that's right. No more YouTubing. No more writing. And I won't even be a wannabe voice actor anymore. I'm a security guard till the day I die, baby. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, yeah? Where's your badge? What's your rank? Check it. Never seen a Faz badge like this, haven't you? Well, I haven't either, but they told me it has special abilities. Now, I don't know what most of those abilities are, but I do know one of them. The ability to revive villains that should have stayed dead and immediately backtrack on them in a contrived and half-baked way. Come to think of it, I have no idea why it's that specific, but that probably means they trust me with the complicated stuff. All right, look, I'm not saying anything controversial when I say two things. One, Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach is bad. Two, the revival of Springtrap is also very bad. It's been nearly three years since the game dropped. You get the idea, so I'll keep it as brief as I could. The Springtrap revival has a lot of problems. It ruins his death in FNAF 6 and his imprisonment in Hell on Ultimate Custom Night. It jumps the shark in a way that the series has never done before, and that's saying a lot in a franchise like this. And it feels like they did this because they didn't have any faith in their new story, and they knew an easy way to grab people's attention was bringing back one of the most popular characters. But you want to know something? I think that what they did in order to rectify this actually made the problem worse. Introducing Security Breach Ruin, which was home to some of the funniest moments I've ever had in a stream. Oh, and by the way, despite... Um... Did it move? Yes. That's not good. Let's run a little experiment. Security mode <laughs> 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 My hand's full. You guys can't handle these riddles. <laughs> what the really? f is that? <laughs> what? What? Gothic Fritz, you are correct. It is a hole. Holy sh! <laughs> hole as in <laughs> holy yeah. shit! So anyway, why do they call it an ATM machine? Like, a g <laughs> what I fucking tell you? <laughs> Here at this stream. Um, oh? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> uh, good times. But yeah, it was home to some pretty funny stream moments, but more important for this video, the introduction of the mimic and this motherfucker. Apparently its name is the Entity, but that's boring, so I'm going to call it Peepaw Franklin and I'll call the Mimic, uh... Melvin. I hate both of these guys, and I have no sympathy for them. After the original game Springtrap reveal became so incredibly panned that it practically became part of the game's identity, Rune was made as damage control so that they could course correct and get everyone on the same page again. Sorry for re-recording this line. Back then it was easy to ignore the whole glitch trap thing from Help Wanted because you could still make the case that this Joker was supposed to be some kind of computer program that was copying Afton's mannerisms. Now it was clear that it was the real deal and no one liked it, so Steel Wool worked fast to fix it. Maybe a bit too fast. Okay, so basically, you boot up Ruin, right? You meet this glitchy bunny character that is hell-bent on killing you, a small child. So it's like, okay, that's Afton, right? Obviously, it's gotta be. No, it fucking isn't. So, okay, Peepaw Franklin isn't Afton, so clearly this Melvin guy is what's left of Springtrap. No, it fucking isn't. Neither of them are Afton. Turns out Melvin has shape-shifting powers or whatever, and because of their FNAF hyperfixation, has been cosplaying as Afton the entire time. Why? <laughs> Shut up. So what's up with Peepaw Franklin? Shut up. How do we find out what's really going on? Better do your homework. I threw out the only FNAF book I had. Okay, so, look, I know the FNAF books have been a thing ever since FNAF World was about to come out. I, I know that. I read Silver Eyes all the way through. I bet you haven't. 
However, as cryptic as the games were back then, at least all the info you needed to understand the story was in the games themselves. The books were just there to elaborate on things and expand the world a bit more. Yeah, there was the William Afton name drop, but that was shown off in the very next game after FNAF 4, so who cares? The games made sense without the books, even if there was a lot of meat to it and it was kind of complicated. But then you have Melvin and Franklin over here and it's like, where the hell did these two come from? The only way you'd know is if you read the books. Yes, that's a me problem, I guess, but like, don't you miss when you could jump into a thing without having to experience a bajillion other things to get it? Connected universes are cool and all, but I miss when things were able to speak for themselves. The very existence of these two characters live and die by the fact that they're in the books, and it complicates things even more. Bad enough you screwed the pooch and brought Afton back, and now you're replacing him with a twist that's even more convoluted and half-baked? Great! Now, now I'm even more, more pissed, pissed and confused than, than I was before. before. Not to mention, come on guys, the damage was already done. You screwed up, and you did something you shouldn't have, and people got upset at you. Best to just move on and try something else. Don't try and put a band aid on it, especially when you're low key just using a fan theory someone used in order to combat the whole glitch trap is the real Afton thing. It was already clear that the intention was for this guy to be the real deal. Trying to fix it is not only pointless because people already saw how it was in execution and didn't like it, but it also overcomplicates things even further. And it's bad enough that people can already tell that that's what you intended to do this entire time. So it's not like you can just walk that back and be like, oh yeah, we always intended for this because people can clearly see that you didn't. You don't just put an I always come back mention in the mobile port of Help Wanted for nothing. It's just like the Craven's Last Hunt to Hunted pipeline for the Spider-Man comics. Kill off an iconic villain in a perfect way, bring him back and cause outcry, try to bury it all in a contrived way even though it's too late. Just. Let it go, man. I promise you, people would have better things to say about your story if they didn't have to read multiple novels in order to comprehend the sudden existence of a character who wasn't there before except, fuck you, they were there for years, shut up. Anyway, I was using my photographic memory to look back at the terms and conditions for my employment at Freddy's and it says my other abilities are getting 1,000 V-Bucks upon subscription, instant access to the battle pass, Instant access to Rocket Pass Premium and the monthly crew skin alongside a one-time offer of 900 V-Bucks. They gave me a free subscription to Fortnite Crew. I don't actually work here. Awesome!